Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Tam and in today's video I'm going to be doing a July favourites for you guys. Um, there is going to be no beauty category because I have not really used anything different in the beauty sector. Everything that I have been using is the same as last month so I'm not going to repeat everything again but if you want to see the things that I've been using and been loving then go check out my June favorites video. <laughs> so I'm gonna start today's video off with the fashion category. I'm gonna talk about my boots. <laughs> my mom bought these boots for me. They are from H&M. I have honestly just been wearing them a lot this month, like a lot. I've never had a problem with H&M boots. I have quite a few boots from H&M. And I always get compliments on my H&M boots, so I'm not, I'm not disputing them. I do think that they do really make nice shoes and stuff. So, yeah, would definitely recommend these. They're really comfortable and they're not as heavy as you would think they'd be. Like they're very, they're very light, which I like. <laughs> the next thing I want to mention is actually this, this jumper that I'm wearing. I'm like we're literally wearing everything, but this is the jumper that I'm wearing today. I made it a sweater dress. Um, my dad got this for me. It is from also from H&M and it's just this like beige and grey knit sweater. It's really warm and I kind of, I'm just going to stand on my couch. Yeah, I kind of just wear it like so with black tights and these shoes. So that is that is this sweater. I would highly recommend getting this. It is so soft. And I know that they have a few other colors. I think there was like a reddish one. I'm not sure, but definitely would recommend this, this sweater. It's so cozy, so comfy. And I think it looks really, really stylish. The next thing in the fashion category is my denim Levi's jacket. I basically took this from my mom a long time ago. This was her denim jacket, so then I took it. I do layer things underneath here, but not this. So more like thinner things like my polo necks, etc. I'll just layer and then put this underneath. I like to cuff the sleeves as well, so it like will be cuffed and then like it shows some of the um the other like layer underneath. So I just think that that's really cute. So that's what I do with this jacket. The next thing that I want to mention is this jumpsuit. So I really love this jumpsuit because you can literally wear it in the summer or the winter. So it is a black and white stripy jumpsuit and it has like very like flowy legs. It is tight fitting like snug. It's so comfortable and soft like this material is so so soft. I bought this a long time ago in 2018 in Portugal. So yeah, it is from Berkshire, so yeah, I would highly recommend if you want to make like an online purchase or something or if you are that side of the world, <laughs> I would highly recommend going to Berkshire. I really just want more jumpsuits like this, so if anyone is in South Africa that knows where I can find really nice jumpsuits that will fit me and my height, please let me know. I'm 5'2". The next category is the home category and as you can tell I have moved back to my accommodation. You didn't see from my last video, go check out my last video, I did a room tour. The next thing I want to mention is this holy grail. It is the Nespresso milk frother. I got it in this like white-ish, kind of like off-white color. This is like the best purchase ever. So I got this last year actually, my dad got it for me. It heats up the milk, like like how a kettle heats up water. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it literally like heats up the milk so, so nicely. And it froths the milk, like so fluffy. I don't even know how to describe it to you. It is so frothy and fluffy and oh, it's so nice. So I would highly recommend if you like making cappuccinos, if you might like making hot chocolate, like, get yourself a milk frother. It is so, so nice. <laughs> the next thing I want to mention is my Polaroid camera. So I got this in 2018 as well in Portugal and it is the Instax Mini 90. So it has like a lot of like different features and everything. If you're really into Polaroids and stuff, then 
I would really recommend this. Um, I think it's better than the Mini 8 and the Mini 9 personally because you can do a lot more with it. Like there's a lot of different modes. There's a soft timer on it. You can screw it onto a tripod. It comes with a little carry case. There's like a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this. But anyways, I have really, really been loving this because I've just started like this little journal thing where, sounds stupid to say, but like I started like a journal thing so that whenever someone comes over, I'll take a Polaroid with them with that for that evening. And then we'll like, I'll like put it in this little book and then they can write like a little note or anything. I mean, because of the situation they're currently in, the only person who's actually done this is Cav. <laughs> But I'm sure as time goes on, hopefully, I can have all my other friends do it. So, yeah. The next thing I want to mention was kind of like a recent purchase, but I've been looking at this for a while. Um, I was just waiting for my other candle to die down. It is this pink sugar bush candle from Mr. Price Home. It was only 40 rand. 30 rand. Uh, I can't remember. Somewhere there. It was really like inexpensive. And it smells so nice. I love it. And like it just it just goes with my whole thing. Again, go see my room tour so you can see how this fits in so nicely with my life. This is gonna be really useless for you if you haven't left for university and like the stuff here. But anyways. Gloves. Washing gloves. Cav told me to get washing gloves. I don't know how I wash dishes before. Washing gloves. My hands aren't dry, they dry, but they're not as dry. Like I literally flake, flake off because of the amount of times I've been washing my dishes and like, you know, it, like the dish soap obviously dries out your hands and stuff. And like, yes, I'm very lazy to put on cream after, etc. because I'll wash with the, I'll wash the dishes and I'll wash with hand soap and then that's it. This is the best investment and it's super cheap. My dad got them for me. They're from Pick and Pay. Go get some washing gloves because you can literally now wash your plates in like scorching hot water. So everything just melts off the plate and then you can just wash the plate and it's like steaming hot and you don't burn your hands. The next category I want to mention is the music category. So these are all the songs that I have been listening to this month. They've kind of just given me like an upbeat, like fun feeling, like getting me through July and online uni because we just started like literally this month. So these are the songs that have just been helping me get through. The first song is Lust by St. John. This is an amazing song. like. <laughs> 100% amazing. If you're on Spotify, I would highly recommend you go and listen to the Lust song radio because at Cav, she taught me this, this chef's kiss thing. Anyway, so good, so good. Go listen to the Lust song radio. It's amazing. Um, which you will then find literally these other songs in that radio that I'm going to mention now. The next song is Acid Trip by Reggie Snow. Then the next song is Sundress by ASAP Rocky, which, you know, I'm just, I just love that song a lot. And the next song is Summertime in Paris as well. Really love this song so, so much. And just back onto Sundress by ASAP Rocky. Also go listen to that song radio because again, Chef's Kiss, it is amazing. So go listen to it. Then the next song is Bleach by Brockhampton. These are all in the like deep moody rap songs. I'm sorry if that's not your vibe, <laughs> but it's my vibe and that's the vibe that I've really been on this month, like sort of chilled rap. Not too hype, but like nice to have like a shisha with and yeah, that kind of vibe. Then the last song I want to mention is by my friend Rob and it is called Forever. And it literally, Rob makes really, really just like uplifting songs. I would also recommend you go listen to Free Your Mind by him as well. These two songs really just, like if I'm having a bad day, I'll go and listen to these songs because they, I don't know, they just put me in a good mood and make me just get up and like feel free and like make me try and let go of my problems. So would highly recommend you go check them out, you go listen to his stuff. Yeah, go check them out. 
go support local artists go support small thriving artists like share some love during this time he really works so so hard on his music he doesn't know that i'm saying this by the way so he's gonna be just as shocked as you guys for me mentioning this but he really works so so hard on his songs like i'll literally watch him go through the process of making these songs and a lot of work goes into them so definitely support local support just anyone in the creative industry like they really are working so so hard and it's such, it's like such a big industry and it's so hard to actually make it in this industry like even like me doing like youtube videos and stuff and even what i'm studying it is absolutely so so hard to make it in this industry so just supporting each other support other artists etc etc just spread the love between every like everyone it just helps everyone so so much so yeah i'm sorry about my little creative ramble <laughs> but yeah that's everything that's that's the end of this video so thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you did comment down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more content from me and yeah i love you all so so much and i'll see you next week bye guys